Princess Kate and Prince William have consistently proven that they are two of the most popular members of the royal family, both at home and abroad. Even as newlyweds, they were already enchanting the world with a series of successful royal visits, from Canada to the United States, before tours of Australia, India, Pakistan and beyond followed. They are absent from the world stage, naturally partly due to coronavirus travel restrictions and their three children starting school, which means they need to stay home more. It is also true that their last major royal tour to the Caribbean was not entirely successful as planned, and was criticized by many as a symbol of past colonial sentiments. Welcome to Royal Experts, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. But now is the time for the Welsh to put aside these fears and see the world again, strengthening important links with the Commonwealth and promoting themselves as the future of the company for all to see. In the past, Kate and William have played well with the public, both at home and abroad, as their travel collection over the past decade or more has shown. The image of them as happy newlyweds in Canada, and the United States, where they went just a few months after their wedding, was contagious, as the world had not yet come down from the top of their glorious wedding day, which was broadcast on television around the world. The couple also charmed the public when they brought baby George with them to Australia and New Zealand, nine months after his birth, an important step as Princess Diana opened new horizons for the royal family when she took baby William with her to the region. 1980s Diplomacy and maintaining international friendships are of course the main reason for these visits, but it cannot be overstated how seeing the Prince and Princess of Wales as ordinary and accessible future royals will help the company strengthen its profile in all the countries they visit. This engagement factor appears to be the sticking point when it comes to Wales' latest tour, a trip to Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas in March 2022. While they were their usual charming self, an unfortunate photo of them welcoming Jamaican locals behind a chain-link fence while displaying their stance as colonists was criticized, while the locals took a stand for independence. One planned trip to Belize was cancelled due to protest fears, and everywhere they went, the sounds of reparations for slavery followed them. It seems that the royal family in this part of the world has come to be seen as at best obsolete, and at worst a symbol of the tragic and painful history of racism, and colonialism that Caribbean countries wish to put behind them. Australia has also seen a growing movement in favour of republicanism, with another referendum on the issue guaranteed if Anthony Albanese wins another term in office. Fortunately, the royals took quick steps to address concerns raised in the Caribbean, and in a speech in Jamaica, William expressed his deep sorrow at the horrific atrocity of slavery. He said, slavery was abhorrent and should never have happened. I strongly agree with my father, the Prince of Wales, who said in Barbados last year that the horrific atrocities of slavery stain our history forever. Thanks for watching till the end.